Hello and welcome to our screencast, brought to you by Aaron, Judd, Kim, and Brooke. Today we will be teaching you about table formatting using the program FrameMaker. Let's get started. To open a document, click More under Templates, and then Report Plane under Reports. Then click the Create button. Now we need to move the cursor to the Body section. In the Functions bar, click the Format tab, select Paragraph, then, from the drop-down menu, click Body. Now let's insert a table. Back at the Functions bar, select Table, and then Insert Table. As you can see, a window labeled Insert Table appears on the screen. In this window, you can choose a pre-existing table by selecting Format A or B. The only difference is that Format A has a title and Format B does not. We're going to use Format A today. Also, you can specify the number of rows and columns you want in your table. You can also choose to have a heading and or a footing row. Click the Insert button to insert the table into the document. Now let's modify the table. To do so, we have to use the Table Designer box. There are three sections to Table Designer, Basic, Ruling, and Shading but we will only cover basic and ruling in today's screencast. Let's start with the basic section. The most important features to note in this section are table tag, title, and alignment. Under table tag, you can choose what you would like to name your table. Choose a pre-existing tag or create a new one by typing in a label and hitting apply. Then click create in the window that appears. Down here, we have a title option. If you don't already, you can choose to have a title, and you can change its position. Choose where you want your title to be, and click Apply. Over here, you can change the alignment of your table in the document. Choose an alignment and click Apply. In these boxes, you can also adjust the margins, indents, and spacing within the individual cells, but the standards work well, so we're going to leave them the way they are. Now let's move on to the ruling section. Here you can control all of the borders for your table. The dotted lines that appear in your table now will not print out. They're just for your help. Let's start with the header and footer. Under separators, choose which line style you want to use to separate the header and footer from the rest of the table and click apply. Now let's work on the columns. The first tab to the right is defaulted as first. This means only the line after the first column will have a defined border. You don't see a border yet because we haven't selected a style. Choose which style you want and click Apply. The Others tab involves all remaining column lines. Choose a style and click Apply. If you want all of the lines to be the same, simply select the same border style. Now let's adjust the row borders. Here, the first tab creates borders after a certain number of rows. For example, you could have every second row be bordered. Choose a style and click Apply. Now select a style for all of the other row borders. Again, if you want all the lines to be the same, simply select the same border style. Here we determine the table's outside rulings. Again, choose a border style for the top, bottom, left, and right side. Just click Apply, and now your whole table has borders. Please note this small checkbox at the bottom left-hand corner. This means if you create a table that stretches across several pages, the table will close on the last page instead of at the bottom of every page. Congratulations! You've learned how to format a table using FrameMaker. Remember, all of the applications to this table can be modified to suit your needs. We would like to thank you for watching our screencast, and we wish you luck in your future FrameMaker adventures.